Hello, today's pedagogy topic is about something that I know seems rather stupid to a lot of people, but it really is important. And uh, sometimes details are what makes us great or not great. And, it, and I'm talking today about valve bounce. And when you take your trumpet, if you push the valve down and just pull your finger away, it should come up and just stop, which mine are doing just fine. But sometimes they go up and they, they, they get a flutter. So uh, you would think that doesn't make much difference, but when you're playing fast passages, it sounds like you're growling while you're playing. Uh, fast Clark studies or fly the bumblebee type pieces, that kind of thing. So the springs that are in the valves do get not worn out. You never need to replace them, but they do get sacked a little bit just from use. So, uh, what I like to do is uh, take off the the top part so that the spring is, is exposed. Now you can see the spring sticks up a little bit and you want it to go at least that much. And sometimes when trumpets have been used for two or more years, they tend to um, get shorter and shorter just from, from use. So sometimes they just barely stick up and that's not enough. So what happens is the valves come up and then they flutter or uh, sometimes the valves will stick. They never stick when you're pushing down because your finger's strong, but when you release it, the spring doesn't have enough push to, to make it come up, that it catches. So sometimes we have sticky valves even though we oil them to death. So I take the spring out and very gently on both ends give it some little tugs. Just a little bit, a little bit, okay. And then I put it back in and see if that's longer. That's a little bit better. Sometimes you may want it even a little bit more than that, but normally when it sticks above the valve casing that much, the spring box, then that's about right. Then you put it back together, make sure the valve is oiled properly, and there you go, it should work fine. Make sure that, the, that uh, when you test the valves by pulling your finger away, they come up and they stop. I know that the valves may feel a little bit more resistant, but that's okay, you'll get used to it. That little feather light, real easy valve action feels great, but it's not good for your sound or technique. Thank you very much.